and the cat's about to come in and join so. us. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another cyber coaching adventure. We've come into the kitchen. We thought we'd do a bit of a meal prep for everyone today. So we've got a bit of a, a compote type um, sweet potato mixture of everything. Now, if you don't have the ingredients that we're using, don't worry. Create your own, throw different things in, see what you can create. Um, there are gonna be cyber points up for grabs today and the cyber points are gonna be to do with how it looks afterwards. So the presentation of your food. Doesn't matter how much it tastes, because I can't taste it at your end. But what it's gonna be is it's gonna be the present presentation of your food, how good it looks, where you put it, what the photo is you do it with. Now, it's gonna be up to 40 cyber points awarded today. As you're seeing this week, we're jumping up high amounts of points. Trying to increase hyphen twin stop, um, and uh, trying to put those two under a bit of pressure at the top of the leaderboard allowing anyone to be able to try and win it um, as we go into the last week of this month. So, all you're looking for to start with, get yourself your nice wok or pan. Uh, I've got garlic in there already, and if you just deliver your oil into the pan, get it a little bit warm, and then we're gonna start with the different vegetables. So, the vegetables we've got cut up here for us are onions, courgettes, peppers of different colors, sweet potatoes. We've got loads of different herbs. You can throw whatever ones you want in if you prefer certain ones. We have aniseed ones, etc. we've put in there as extra to what we've actually released to you guys. And we've got chickpeas. Um, we've obviously got a non-meat mint, um, but if you have, if you prefer obviously the meat side or you want to put something else in there, feel free to. This is all about trial and error. This is just the different things that we've got in from, obviously, the, the lockdown. Um, throw it in, see what comes out, try and create a meal to yourself. The answer is this is just trying to teach you to do something slightly different. Try and get into the kitchen, help your mums, help your dads. Can you put in one or two meals a week to help them out? All right. So what we're going to do, get the actual oven or cooker on and uh, warm. Dink the oils in. I'm going to stop the cat jumping out of the window. <laughs> you. I think you wanted to come and say hello. Say hello, my little friend. <laughs> bye bye, doo doo. That wasn't me getting out of the cooking, I promise. I have cat hair everywhere now. <laughs> so, straight in with the onions, because we want to get them nice, crunchy, bring loads of flavour to it. Uh, crunchies. I definitely want it crunchy. When it goes hard, and crunchy. They don't, they go soft. She Sorte. never agrees with me, it's more. Saute the onions. <laughs> Where's that voice come from? I'll play. Now, what are people planning on making? Jay, how you doing, my son? Please be safe when cooking with oils and cats. <laughs> P.S. I don't have time to be rescuing cats. <laughs> well, he's not off a tree, so you're okay, Jay. How's work going with you, anyway? Who else have we got on? Let's get some likes, seeing who's uh, actually on this one with us today. Who's actually, actually, who's creating the meals? And what are you planning on creating? Daniel, how you doing, my son? Try a little bit of herb on top of the onions. Con, how you doing? Gurgit, my word, that's a that's a voice. That, that's a that's a name I haven't seen for a long time. How are you? Still playing? The herbs have different salts, different peppers in. We've got Himalayan salts in there. Um, we have sort of a chili type pepper. Um, you can use as little or as much as you like on it. Just get them up nice and fried. Dad's cooking my tea. What's he cooking you?
fitted there at work as we speak, just done a circuit with the watch, got to get back onto it due to field speed. Good luck Jay, stay safe buddy. So the onions with the salt, peppers, etc. and herbs are all in there. And obviously the garlic will be nicely mixed into that now. Or oh, pie and veg. Now that's what that sounds amazing. I hope you're gonna be sending us a photo of that. In with the aubergines for us. Courgettes. And courgettes. No, it's, oh, it's only courgettes, is it? I hadn't been used to eating aubergines, courgettes and things like that prior to really hitting the, the vegan type style. I was on, my fun was always a very normal vegetable, so the onions, the peppers, the sweet corns, things like that, to start really hitting the different types that my mum never really brought in for us. Um, it's certainly been a, an experience for me. Sai, how you doing my man? Yeah. Yeah, it smells nice, but I want dinner early. <laughs> so we're actually making this for later for ourselves. Um, but it's smelling nice now, we almost want to eat it now. So little man, what have you started to make? Charlotte, are you helping your dad with the pie? And going in, I'll let you do this one. Huh? Peppers, green and red. Glad I'm not colorblind on that one. Hey Dad, Mum don't cook as much now, she's got me. <laughs> South got Owls, how you doing? This is a slightly different session to what I'd normally be putting on. We thought we'd do a, a food preparation day um, and create using whatever we've actually got in the actual cupboards. Um, just to show you you can put anything together. So, not quite a football exercise today, but it's all part of it, it's all part of the nutrition, it's all part of the diet. So for anyone that is watching this that doesn't normally watch, this isn't what we'd normally be hitting, but please still stay with us, try something yourself if you want to go back on it afterwards and try to create the meal. Be our guest, send us through the photos of what you create and let's see what different people have come up with. We're doing quite a high protein, but we're doing a vegan meal. So we can kind of link it to everyone. Boys say it's a surprise. <laughs> no watching you, I made a cake with him the other day. Oh, good girl, Charlotte. What do you think of the cooking so far, Charlotte? Make well, she doesn't suddenly tip out at you guys. <laughs> and going in the sweet potatoes. Now Christopher's just done the first Cyber Jungle 2. Um, he managed to survive and get out of it. So well done to little Christopher. Um, there's a load of the guys catching him up this week and getting on to that one. Jonathan's coming up next and also Mealy's on later tonight. So those guys and girls are currently doing the Cyber Jungle. Um, if you guys haven't obviously started the one-on-ones, if anyone does want to start one-on-ones or even group sessions we've got now running, uh, we are all doing it live and cyber. So please feel free, just holler me, get hold of me. If you want sessions, let us know. Everyone's still obviously available and welcome. When we obviously come back out of this, we'll let you guys know and hope you get back into normal coaching. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. And we're going to stop cube in. This obviously had water in or water added to it. He says mine's very colourful. Yeah, it has to. And then it's all the different colours are the ones that flick in the different tastes. Now remember, 
There's up to 40 cyber points available for today, and it's all to do with your presentation. How do you leave it? What, what do you put it on? How do you pre prepare it to hand it to the person that you're giving it to? Um, so it's all on how it looks at the end, not so much how it tastes. Obviously try not to kill anyone, try not to food poison everyone, make sure you're cooking it cleanly, make sure you're doing it right, make sure you've washed your hands, and make sure you've prepared it correctly. And we're going in with our mints as well. Um, but don't be afraid to put a little something, something together at the end. So you'll see my photo, we've got a photo already lined up, we'll show you on here, we'll also take a photo on the camera. And you'll see it on the keeper a little bit later of how ours is going to look. Oh, well done, Charlotte. How are they doing with their cyber? Is it any good? If you are doing meat and you're creating meats, um, you probably want to add it a little bit quicker than what we do. Um, because obviously ours is a vegan meat, it, well, a vegan meat, a vegan substitute, it doesn't take that long to cook. So if you're doing the meats, you probably want to put it in somewhere just after you've put the onions in, if you're copying what we're doing. And in go our chickpeas, Dad. How many am I cooking for? That's a lot of mints. Yeah, what we do is, because we're, we're creating it into a whole bowl, what, we, what we'll do is we'll now food prep it for the next couple of days. Uh, and we'll have sort of, this will be our meals for the next couple of days and we'll just change the different ingredients. We'll put a few different things with it um, so then it becomes a lot easier and we don't have, we don't waste time cooking every single day. Obviously when you're preparing from fresh it takes longer but if you meal prep it and ping it in those meal prep boxes, etc., it actually becomes um, brilliant. It's obviously good, it's nice and healthy. But on top of that, you do obviously save a lot of time by preparing it and pinging it in. Good question, Dad. I do different skills. Are you following all the cyber stuff still, Charlotte? You're still on doing my stuff as well, so you're getting your goalkeeping as well as the skills? It's going to feel like I'm touching it. Hey Finley, how are you doing? And going in the last of our herbs and spices. Sorry, <laughs> goes everywhere now. Good girl, Charlotte. Good lad. How did you enjoy yesterday? You got a little bit better weather than the guys and girls doing it today, didn't you? You picked the right day. Now you just gotta let it simmer, allow all the flavours to kinda of entwine with themselves and to obviously it for, to be completely cooked through. Because <laughs> I certainly don't want the food poisoning at the end of it all. Shall we show you a close look? If I get 10 likes, I'll show you a close look. It's not easy because you're, you're literally standing on an orchid at the moment. So I've got to somehow then put you back afterwards. Gotta have 10 likes though. See how far behind they are. <laughs> well, no one likes it. Yeah, well, no one likes it. Uh, really? Yeah. We've got a dog loose outside, apparently. Not one of ours, don't worry. <laughs> hey, flying! We're going to let you keep liking it. 
Uh, we, we, we just stand up here. We, we haven't seen any likes yet. You're still up. It's all good. Didn't break the eye back. Hey, Nicky and Jack, how are you both doing? Hope the call I did yesterday to him helped. What was the dog? <laughs> the dog can smell the cooking. <laughs> no, that's R2. They're trying to break through. Now the waiting game. We're just checking we have put everything in. <laughs> now how are yours coming along? Give us some words. Give us some words to describe what yours currently look like. Dads can be called dot 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 burnt. Or dot dot dot. Mum's not making anything. Dot, dot, dot. The swimming pool's on. I'm waiting for a good one. When you start, it should be, we have a special pan and basically the, the bottom goes red. So it tells you when you should start cooking. If you start cooking, especially with fats, obviously we're, we're using quality oils. But if you, if you use any oil or fat on the bottom and it's not hot enough, it will literally, um, the fat goes into the actual food to start with. So that pan wants to be hot so it just goes Psh! and it starts frying it straight away. <laughs> Shut up, Mum's turn to cook tonight, huh? Chicken. Hello, Zach and Co. How are you both doing? We've got a nice meal going on in front of us today. Hope you're joining in with us. If you are, again, the guys that are joining us slightly late, launch us your photos through when you're finished. Let's have a look to see what you've created. a little bit of a waiting game now just to make sure everything's cooked all the way through. Christopher Jonathan, what's the main ingredient you're putting in yours? Yeah, it's been crazy, isn't it? The rain's been horrendous. It's stopped over this way now, uh, but it's like doom and gloomy. Uh, but to be fair, we've... Uh, We've been, um, we've been spoiled for weather since the actual lockdown, so uh, it's all good. Dad says, watch out Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I don't swear that much though. No, it's hot. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> so opposite to my one then. <laughs> Is that Jonathan's or Christopher's? Or are they both doing it together? That would be an interesting kitchen, especially after the conversations we had an hour ago. 
No, you go first. No, you go first. No, no you. No, definitely you. Both of you go first. One of you go first. I don't care. I'll just take all your sun points away if you don't. Then they suddenly made a decision. <laughs> no, it's not that. No, we're just um, we're letting it have a rest. Everyone needs a rest day, and the sun is having its rest day today. That's all it is. Now, if you are using things like sweet potatoes or that type, just make sure a little, like what Helen's doing now, a little prod of them to make sure the actual sweet potato is fully cooked. Um, what you don't want to do is have it half cooked, suddenly take a bite of it and it's, it's kind of crispy or crunchy. <laughs> no. Still completely disagree with you, Dad. Sun's definitely not in the way over to you. You were making a mess in my kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Yeah. Jonathan Christopher, have you burnt yours yet? <laughs> Another little quick look. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. Sure. God, that was like a specialist iPad. Sure. 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 I think the noise has made everyone smile on that one. Ooh, that we like. No arguments yet, that's a good start and it's not burnt yet, that's great. Well done you two. I'm proud that you're giving it a try. And you Nicola for Yeah, and you Nicola for letting them. <laughs> I hope they're clearing up before the one-on-one -on -one later. <laughs> it's got about an hour. <laughs> Georgie! How you doing, Jude? You better be joining in and cooking. I know you can cook. How you doing, the Anowskis? How are you? They'll be eating it first. <laughs> Jakob, how is things? Or how are things? Hey, Helen's laughing, she hasn't had one of her dodgy um, phrases yet. None of her people have been on, so she doesn't feel like she's uh, in a normal life yet. I'm just keeping quiet. <laughs> Jakob, what's the best food you've eaten this week? Because we know your mum can cook. For anyone that doesn't know um, Jakob's mum, when times are normal, shall we say, she cooks um, different bakery items, cakes, cupcakes, uh, buns, things like that. And uh, they were very nice and uh, got me six lovely um, cupcakes prior to the actual lockdown. And it was amazing. I had them for the next three or four days. Um, but the taste on them are phenomenal. So if you're ever looking for cupcakes or buns and like that, She's the one to go to. Bill, how you doing? That's one of yours coming. Bill. Give us a wave, Bill. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> How are you? How's the dogs? We don't intend to do things by halves with the foods. Now we were actually going to do a, something like a curry today, but we thought we'd try and make it as, shall we say, normal as possible, so that no matter what foods you had in, you could just throw in your own one and kind of create something yourself. Um, so it brings it all completely to open to anyone, uh, whether you're vegan, whether you're a meat eater, whether you're a veggie, whatever it is, you can create your own. Missing your trips away, I bet you are. Hey Abs, how you doing my son? Dad says how's the family if you're not looking. Helen's trying to break the rest of the kitchen. This is a cyber chef. <laughs> It's certainly a different one for me to actually be doing cooking rather than coaching. Is uh, I, I've always been a cook. Helen likes cooking for us the most, to be fair. Um, but I do like the occasional cook, um, and uh, I've done it since school days. Um, but it is very strange trying to coach cooking rather than coach normal. That little bit of fun, something different. Mum sipping the wine. <laughs> that does not surprise me. What are you doing? Apparently we've got to do some squats at the same time. I was having a day off. What's the day off? Day off. See, enjoys cooking. It's Helen the next Nigella. Well, uh, I've got a few words for her, but maybe not that. <laughs> that one's going to cost me that. Who's Gordon Ramsay's second in command? She can be that. Hmm. See, Jonathan, how's your going? How's it? How is yours going? I'm trying to get the words out anymore. Okay, what's going down? There's a, there's a little bit of concern in your voice there, Nicola. Remember, today's for 40 cyber points. Just check you've got batteries in your smoke alarm. Just check you've got batteries in your smoke alarm, Helen says. <laughs> I don't think she's got confidence in them. When theirs comes out, amazing. I'm going to love every minute of it. Nearly done. Good, good. Make sure that meat is cooked thoroughly because I know you guys will be putting the meats into it. <laughs> are you going to squat? Are you? <laughs> you, got I go you got off the view. You got off the view. Bounce off. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No, we'll just stick to the cooking today. What is the cyber points? 
So some of the points are today, so 24 hours of it, can you cook your own meal? It's for up to 40 cyber points. So depending on how good the presentation of the meal is, it doesn't have to taste great. I hope it would because obviously you don't want to waste food at this time. But the 40 cyber points are for the presentation. So the picture you put it in, what's around it, what, how do you make it look? How do you present it to the person you're giving it to? Maybe make a nice dining table or have something around it. Uh, Amelia might throw one of her teddies in there. Jonathan and Christopher might throw their trophies in there. I don't know, just give, just give me a few little ideas out on that side. Um, Finley, ooh, what could we do for you? We could possibly put ooh, a slice of your dad's kicks in there, maybe. <laughs> that was one for just for him. Um, but the, the cyber points are for the presentation of the meal that you make. Now, it's not a meal your mum and dad make. You've got to at least help chop the items, put the items in, and do some of the cooking yourself for the cyber points. But it's the presentation that's going to get you the most of them. I'll trust you guys, you are making it. But it's the presentation that is key. Good luck. Get on it. We've nearly done ours. Now, here's the thing. We're going to work out whether we're going to show you the end product now. We'll show the end product on the keeper in about 10, 15 minutes. But it might go down to how many people put likes on now, whether we let you see it now. So just to be spoil sports, <laughs> we're not going to allow you to see it now. We're going to make you see it in 10 minutes. So you'll have to pop back into the keeper in 10 minutes time. We'll have a few little videos for you. I got you didn't like it all. <laughs> um, and it will be on photo in about 10 minutes presented to you all. So good luck with your cooking. Hope you enjoyed something completely different today from both of us in the kitchen and the cat that joined us earlier. Um, happy cyber coaching, and I shall see you guys next live on Friday. Um, but there is a crazy abdominals video on tomorrow. See you guys all soon.